Welcome to another round of my subs sent me items they're thinking of buying for their home. And here is my feedback. It is actually not the morning. It is 5 p.m., but I'm drinking a leftover matcha that kind of sat out all day. So I don't know if this is okay to drink, but gives me energy. Anyways, this is, I think, maybe my second or third video where my subscribers send me items that they're thinking of getting for their homes, and I give you my honest feedback. Um, I'll link the previous videos down below. It seems like you all like these, and I got a few requests to do more of this type of video. So if you want to participate in a future one, make sure to follow me at Wasselpaw because that's where you can send me stuff for your home. And then I say, no, don't get that, you know, usually. Or sometimes yes, we don't know, we don't know. You all sent me some good stuff, some questionable things, some stuff I love, some stuff I hate, and we're gonna go through it now. And I'm gonna give you my feedback on stuff my subscribers are thinking of purchasing for their home. These chairs were one of the first items that someone, one of you, one of my subs sent me. And while I'm not a huge fan of rattan, I actually really like these chairs. And she was asking me what fabric she should reupholster the chairs in. And I weirdly kind of like the fabric that they're already in. You could reupholster them though. You really could, you could find a really cool fabric. I would suggest going with a fun like plaid or a, just a cool pattern because I feel like a white boucle is just boring, but I don't feel like it's super urgent to reupholster because I kind of like that blue. And any, any way to keep original fabric or anything original, if you can keep it, why not? And I don't know, I'm 50-50 on the blue. You could reupholster it in cool stuff, but I do like the chairs. Even though I wouldn't personally have these chairs. I give you the thumbs up to buy them. I feel like a lot of you might be shocked by that, but I don't know. Rattan isn't always bad. Vintage rattan can be good. Honestly, it's not even rattan, it's bamboo. Or is it, what, whatever. Everyone always gets mad at me about my vocabulary. I'm just an average gal talking, talking the shit. We've seen these folding chairs before in my Check Out This Fucking Home series where I feature my friend Alex, and he had these Gian, Gian, G, Giancarlo Peretti chairs, and I obviously, and I honestly think you can never go wrong with buying something by a really famous designer. Even if you're not gonna use this folding chair a lot, I think they look cool, like, against a random wall with like a stack of books. Like they could be more of an art piece or like a side table instead of an actual chair. Or fold it up and bring it out when you have guests over. So I vote yes. Exposed piping sinks are a little confusing to me because I don't know if you should get it or not because it does take away from extra storage. So I guess if you have like a huge house or a big bathroom where you have storage, I think that they do look cool in nice and sleek and like exposed piping is interesting. Um, but most of us live in spaces where your bathroom is somewhat confined. So I would vote no for this unless you're very rich and have a very spacious bathroom because you need storage. It's not worth it to not have under sink storage just for the look of this, unless you really can do it. While I do love this style of sofa, I do like a sofa that has like the skirt down at the bottom and it's just like a very classic sofa. I don't know if I would go with it in red. I feel like when you buy furniture that's red, it has to be a very specific color red for it to work. It either needs to be pretty burgundy or maybe on the more orangey side, but when it's like this weird in-between, that's where I get a little thrown off. And a red sofa does throw me off. I don't know if I personally would get a red sofa. So I would say no, I would. This Ikea butcher block table, I feel like you can never really go wrong with a butcher block. My friend Kate, you know Kate, she has a butcher block 
a table that she uses as a cutting board or you could just put it in your kitchen. And I think if you're going to get a butcher block, get a vintage one because there's a lot out there and I just think they look really cool. But if you want Ikea, then sure. I think butcher block tables are just super cool to have as like an extra little accessory in your kitchen, especially next to a stove. If you have like a weird area with like an opening, put a butcher block table. Look on Craigslist. Leather sofas always throw me off. I'm just not that big of a fan of a leather sofa. I don't know why. It's probably because they're a little bit uncomfortable or I feel like in high school, like we used to always hang out in basements and everyone had like leather sofas and they were cold. And I just don't really love the look of a leather sofa. I'm just not a big fan of leather in general. Like I don't really love leather. I don't really love cowhide. I don't know, it's just me. So I would say no, personally. I do like the shape of this sofa though. This is an interesting one. One of you sent me this photo saying, should I paint my room black with white trim or do white trim and black walls? Which I think both of them look good. I think you have to be careful when painting your trim because you have to take into account where this trim continues. So if you're painting your trim black, in one room, I think that's really nice. But if the trim like continues into other rooms, it might be weird to have it cut off. I think your safe bet is to do white trim with the black walls. But if it's a certain space where you want to take like this fun design risk, I say yes, go for it. Just make sure that the trim does come to an end or else it just could look weird. For instance, like this, this room I'm in, like it's a lot of trim to paint black and I don't know where I would stop. Like you couldn't really just like cut it off. These orangey stripe lamps I think are super cool. They definitely fit in a very specific room, but that's a great way to add in a pop of color into a boring space. These do feel a little bit childish to me in a way where I would maybe put this in like a little girl or boy's room, which would be so cute. Um, but you also could incorporate it in your own space, I guess in a guest bedroom, I would just make sure that other items in the room have some sophistication because these just feel like younger. Um, but I love the entrance of orange through a lamp. You gotta enter color, you know? That's all I talk about. This is crazy that these chairs are only a hundred bucks. Are they not a hundred a chair? These are really good chairs. They are vintage Mexican rush chairs, which is just interesting and different than a lot of stuff that people have in their homes right now. And again, I like mixing all different styles. So when you find something that's super unique, I say go for it. I like these and it's a really good price, but they do look a little short to me, like the seat part. So just make sure to look at measurements as, as always. I had these Ikea chairs in stool form at my Chicago place when I first moved in. I think I found them on Craigslist. I think adding in acrylic in like one area of your home, just like one simple thing, not really a coffee table, I'm not as into those, but I do like an acrylic stool. I wouldn't say these are like my ultimate favorite things, but they are affordable. And if you're looking to add in something modern or chrome into your space, I think these are the perfect way to do it. I actually really love the orange version of this so much. I think this is so cool to pair with maybe an older table and having this modern modern chair. So again, like you don't want to overdo this type of style, but I think having like a little peak of this is always good. And especially when it's affordable. <laughs> I absolutely love Danish design. I think a lot of Danish pieces look mid-century, but they're a lot more sleek, if that makes sense. Is that the right? term. Anyways, I like this table. <laughs> it's sleek. It's nice. I love this type of wood. I think every home needs to have at least one peak of this type of wood. And the price is fine. I mean, it's authentic. It's 300 for this side table. I wish it was like 250. Maybe you could put in an offer for a little lower or 200. Depends on like what you're willing to do. Sometimes I'm in the mood to like really splurge on a piece that I love, but sometimes I'm like, mm, for a side table, 300 might be a little much, but I do love it. So if you can afford it, get it. Oh, also I'm obsessed with the inside of this table. 
That's so cool that it opens up and then you can have like nice organized storage. Uh, you gotta get the table. Send me a photo of it in your space if you buy it. I wanna see. Let's quickly take a little break to talk about today's sponsor, Blue Land. The less plastic bottles you use, the better. With Blue Land, you reuse the bottles every time. Not only is it sustainable, but it also saves you money. Blue Land tablets start at only $2 or 155 if you buy in bulk. Blue Land uses no single use plastic in any component from bottles, tablets, and wrappers to shipping. You receive a package in the mail with all of the bottles and little tablets that are labeled to go directly into each bottle telling you what it is being used for. And all you have to do is drop one tablet into the water bottle, fill the bottle with warm water, Water. The tablet then dissolves in minutes. There's no shaking or stirring needed. And voila, you now have a bathroom cleaner, a multi-surface cleaner, hand soap, and glass cleaner. When you have a glass coffee table, you pretty much need to clean it all the time. So I have found myself using the glass cleaner quite often. Click the link down below to get 15% off your first kit. Go grab your kits before they sell out. Thank you again, Blue Land, for sponsoring this video, I really, truly do love your products. Don't hate me. I don't know if I've said this on my channel and don't be super influenced by this because this is just a very personal preference of mine, but I hate the color pink. I just do. I feel like if I were to incorporate pink, it would be very pale and it would be in a like a little boy or girl's room. Do you paint your walls this Monet, Benjamin Moore colored? No, but I don't, I don't, I, no, I hate it. I just, I just don't like pink and I don't really like purple. Maybe it will grow on me, but I don't like pink. And it's funny because my mom's favorite color is pink. So this storage unit is super cool. I am really into chrome right now. And I think a really sleek, modern storage system is always really nice. It is $5,000 though. Is that really in your price range? Probably not. I don't think I've ever purchased anything that's been even over like $2,000. Maybe I'll get there one day. If you can afford it, absolutely get this. But this channel is not about the really expensive items because that's not what we are buying. <laughs> but I like it, so get it if you, if you can. I wish I could afford that, you know? I think about that with fashion as well. Like the more, you see like influencers or whoever, the more money they get, the better fashion sense they sometimes, not all the time, have because they have money to buy the actual jeans from a designer that are made to fit your body really nicely. I'm always curious how I would feel if I wore like really, really expensive clothing and like had my makeup done and had my hair done and did all of that and had all the money to buy and furnish my entire place. I don't know what that would transform my style into. It's interesting to me that Home Depot is now kind of offering like a William Morris knockoff wallpaper. I do like William Morris wallpaper. I do. And I, I don't hate this wallpaper. It's a nice pattern for Home Depot to offer because I feel like in the past you could never find something stylish like this. A lot of companies are really stepping up their game in all areas. And Home Depot and Lowe's like secretly have good things. So... Don't uh, not look there. So yeah, I mean, there's definitely an area that this wallpaper could live in. I don't feel like it's sophisticated enough for me. Not that I'm sophisticated. It just, it, again, it feels a little childish. Maybe in like a kid's bathroom. Wow, I'm, everything that like I don't really love, I'm like, throw it to the kids. No, I do like it though. It would look good in a kid's bathroom. Okay, so this gal was wondering if she should get this wicker mirror or this mirror. And at first I was like, I don't know if I like either of them. I think a wicker mirror is fun in some areas. I'd say, why not? I don't think you could really go wrong with wicker unless you like overdo it. So why not get the wicker mirror? But then I found out the second mirror actually has a ton of color options. And now I like that mirror. I like it a lot, actually. I think you could get a really fun color on this mirror or even just like a muted green, the olive or the mustard or whatever. I think this mirror is cool. It has like an interesting design around it. So I would go with that one over the wicker, but I'm not saying wicker is bad. Does that, does that make sense? Okay, cool. This drawing table is amazing. I love drawing tables. I think that they are just an interesting 
thing to have in your home. If you have space where you can like actually have the drawing table like on a tilt and put some like books on display or like even use it as like your desk or whatever, I think it's such a cool thing to have. And if you don't have space and have to use it just as an actual table, I think there's ways to make it be stable, but I think it's really unique to have one of those in your home. So I say, get it. These Danish dining chairs are amazing. I think having an old set of dining chairs is just a fun way to incorporate some vintage pieces in your home. I love like a seat that has a fabric and if it's like a fun pattern, I think that's always nice. Um, again, they're a little pricey. There is six, six of them, six of them for 1700. So it's pricey, but if you go to like crate and barrel and buy dining chairs, you are going to spend like somewhere around a thousand dollars to get six dining chairs. And especially if you go to like restoration hardware, you might be even spending more than 1700. So if your budget allows, these are cool, but make sure not everything in your home is old then. Cause it could really date it. I've got a bone to pick with fake vintage rugs. So this is basically just a general rug that has like a vintage print over it. And I just don't love the look of that. Sorry, mom, if you're watching, she has that rug, not this exact, this rug, but a, a fake vintage rug. It's fine. It's from Pottery Barn, but the print of it is just like, you can just tell it, it was like printed on the rug. So I feel like if you're going to get like a Persian rug or any type of like vintage design on your rug, just get an actual vintage one because something like this, this blue guy, I like it, but it just, I don't know, feels cheap to me. Does that make sense? Okay. These little mushroom lamps I think are really great because they come in so many good colors. My friend Basma actually just bought this lamp and she was wondering if she should get the burgundy one or the like creamy yellow one. I think she got the creamy yellow. One of you sent me this and I was like, huh, my friend Basma has that. And I think you should get it. I think these are such cool lamps. I think they're like a decent price. And you know, mushroom lamps are a little trendy. Like this orange one that someone sent me, I'm like, I don't, like, I don't know why, but it doesn't feel as good as the one that my friend Basma got. So I don't know. You just have to be careful with mushroom lamps because I feel like they can feel kind of urban outfitters, but I do like these. And I really love this like creamy one. I really am into cream right now. I would say cream is my favorite color right now. Cream, it's always been, I've, I've always liked cream. This vintage Ikea table for 150 euros is great. I say go purchase it. I think this could look cool if you had like a little area in your living room that you could, you know, have like, it's like your little card table for game night. If you are planning on putting it in your actual kitchen, cause maybe you need like a small table. I do feel like those seats might be a little uncomfortable, but the look of it is really cool. Or if you have like an entry foyer that you could put that in, or like, again, a kid's room. Um, I really like the table, but I don't feel like it's comfortable, but I definitely think you should get it. Someone changed my mind about this down in the comments. I have a weird thing against diagonal legs. I think that this desk is fine. It's nice. It's whatever, but I wish it had straight legs. I just don't like diagonal legs. I don't own anything that has, do I? I think my TV console actually might have like small little diagonal legs, but I gave that to my brother. So I just don't like diagonal legs. I think it looks way more modern and sleek and just fight me in the comments or tell me why I should like diagonal legs. And tell me why I should like pink. So I don't like pink and I don't like purple and I don't like diagonal legs. I think this piece of art is really cool. It's from Etsy. You can't go wrong with finding oil paintings off of Etsy. If you're confused on where to get art, go to Etsy. I say it over and over and over again. I mean, don't buy the like weird mass printed little arch bubble graphic design pieces, but they have good art. There's a lot of canvas oil paintings on there. And I'm not saying to not buy from like cool graphic designers who design prints that you could download and have printed. I actually did some of that with my parents gallery wall because they were like, we don't want to like buy expensive art right now. We just need placeholders. So if you want to buy art, but you need some placeholders, you can buy graphic design pieces off of Etsy and print them, but just don't get like ones that look like this. Vintage Ikea lamps for $80. Absolutely. Yes. Good color. It's fun. 
I think one would be better than two. I think that color is a little intense to have two, but buy them both and give one to a friend because everyone loves a little lamp and everyone loves vintage Ikea. Okay, thank you. I weirdly like this little like low coffee table. I think it's a little impractical uh, how low it is, but I think it's cool. And I kind of like the wood. I would get it. I don't know, it's a little low though. Depends on your space. I love tissue box covers. I think there's just fun ones out there and why not add a little cover to your tissue box? I have this tissue box cover. I got it from Amazon. I don't know if it still exists. But I don't know, I was at this like cool house for a shoot and the guy had it um, in his bathroom and I went, I found like, I looked underneath, found the brand and then bought it. And I don't know, if you have to have tissues out, might as well have a cool tissue box cover. Would I get this one? Maybe not. Maybe not the cat and dog vibe, but mm, it's, it's just, it's weird but it's like good weird. Mm, no, I would pass. There's other good ones. Look on Etsy and wherever. This guy is wondering if he should paint his kitchen this color. First off, I really love the color on this like long cabinet. I think it's the perfect like olive with like a mix of chartreuse. Green, it's just a great color. I do think you could paint a room that color for sure. Maybe a bathroom or an office. I feel like if it was like a huge room, it might be a little bit excessive, but I really love that color to be painted on anything like a bookshelf or a mirror or cabinets or whatever. That's a good color. I wonder what that color is. Go for it. And that's the end of me giving you my opinions on stuff my subscribers are buying for their home. <laughs> I, I honestly like these types of videos. I think they're fun to see what everyone's kind of like looking at. I do have to weed through all of the submissions, but it's really fun to see what everyone's buying. It just inspires me and my style. Like literally having this YouTube channel has made me so immersed in interior design more than I ever have been. Like I work within interiors, but doing all this research and seeing what you're all buying and seeing what inspires you and digging through Pinterest constantly and talking about interiors, I'm just like, this is, my entire world now, I guess. I'm obsessed with interiors. I'm obsessed with interior design. Hopefully you liked this video. I feel like I should do more of these. I like like the interactive ones. So uh, let me know what you think and I'll see you. Honestly, I'm gonna post once a week. I don't know if I'm gonna be posting twice a week because I'm about to go on this insane Target job I'm in New York for two weeks. And then I go to Miami for a job as well for like four days. So I'm gonna like kind of fall off the grid, but I'll still be posting. So subscribe and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.